everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I am here with an update on my peeping pan project pan that was created by Jessica and Amanda. I will have them and everybody else that is participating in this project pan list it down below and today I'm going to be going over a couple of the items that I have in my peeping project pan so if you guys did not see my intro I will have that listed up above I did five different products and I did all products that were face base kind of products so the goal of this project is to hit pan on something move on to the next thing and cycle through and it is a year-long project where you just try to hit pan on as many of your products as you can which I personally really like because it's going to help me really use my collection I started off with my eight cosmetics illumination celebration foundation illumination and light and I don't like this I don't use it ever not ever. So I think I might have used this once to set my under eyes, but there's no progress on that. I had a Becca blush and flower child, which I still have in my collection, but I did not use it once because I'm panning a cream blush right now. So that has no progress. I'm actually going to substitute something else in because I know I'm not going to reach for that until closer to spring. And then I will bring that back around later. I just was a little bit too aggressive with putting it in right now. I also had my NYX blush in taupe. And I will give you a close-up of this. I have a significant dip, but no pan on this yet. We will see. I've been using this in my crease a lot. I've also just been using this on my face to bronze. So hopefully soon I will see some progress on this and some pan, but nothing yet. All right. And then the other two products that I had were my Too Faced bronzer in Sun Bunny. This used to be a split pan of shimmer and matte, but it has since been used and repressed. So it's all blended up together. And I did hit pan on this up here and on the side. Because this is a repress, I knew I was going to hit pan pretty quickly. I'm going to continue to use this because I do want to finish it, but this will not be an official part of this project anymore. And that is where I am in terms of progress. You can see a lot of pan on that guy. I also had in this project my Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter, which I hit pan on relatively quickly. I'll try to show you this one as well. Actually, a couple places where there's pan, because of the way the, um, the pattern is on this, it's hard to see, but there is actually pan a little bit lower down here as well, but I'll show you the pan that's pretty easy to see. So you can see there's pan up there in the corner, and there is a little bit of pan a little bit lower down as well, but I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. So this one I'm going to move out and put away and move a different highlighter into a project pan. I'm actually going to try to use up my Stila Kitten eyeshadow, which is in a palette as highlighter for right now, which is what I have on today. Um, so I will come back to this. I love using it. It's definitely going to stay a part of my collection. I'm just trying to move through and hit pan on a whole bunch of different things. So I hit pan on two things. I'm moving those out and I'm putting new stuff in and I'm going to remove one that I just will not use color wise until later on in the spring. And I'm going to replace it with something else. So let's go over what I'm replacing it with. I will be putting in a ColourPop shadow. My goal for this project now is probably going to be to hit pan on a whole bunch of these because they're going to go bad soon. They're going to dry out. This is Mittens and it is a matte brown. I love this. It's great for the crease. I want to use this up. It's still very creamy. It's still very pigmented and I do really love it. It's a warm brown and I would like to hit pan on that. Now with these, they are cream shadows, so they do move around a lot. My goal is to hit like significant pan on this. So I'm not just looking for superficial pan. I actually want like real, real pan on this. I also will be putting in this Bite Beauty Multi Stick. This is what I've been using for blush lately. And instead of the Flower Child, I'm going to use this because this is what I hope to use up. So this is where this is. I will mark this down on paper, but this is a gorgeous, like taupey purple, kind of a shade that you can sheer out and it creates this beautiful flush. It's actually what's on my cheeks today, although underneath this highlighter, which I think legitimately got in like the brush that I used to put this highlighter on, I think it had something else on it already because my highlighter is looking like actually pigmented, like not just highlighter. So I didn't feel like taking off my full face of makeup to fix that. So we're just going to deal with it. You're going to pretend like you don't notice, right? Um, but I did just clean all my brushes so that won't happen again because I'd gotten lazy and I feel like this is not just kitten. Like there's something in this. So I will be using this. I will mark this and uh, measure this on my paper and then continue going 
with that one. And then I will also be adding in a MAC shadow that has no name. This is very old. It's from back when MAC was still cruelty free, which I know they are not anymore. There is a dip in this shadow and it is a beautiful crease transition-y kind of a shade. It is right here. It looks fantastic with a lot of the eye looks that I'm doing. I'm wearing it today with Glass Bull from ColourPop. So I will give you a close up of this so that you can see exactly where I'm at. There is a dip. So I'm hoping I can hit paint on this pretty quickly. I've been really, really loving that with this Glass Bowl Duochrome, which is what I'm wearing today. So that is what I will be moving in. I will be using the ColourPop shadow. I will be using the blush stick. I will be using the old MAC shadow, as well as continuing with the CC, or no, the Illumination Foundation and the... Um, contour the NYX taupe blush. So I will be using all of those. Those are what I'm moving in, moving out. So far so good. Not doing too bad. I'm very excited to have hit pan on the highlighter and on the bronzer. I'm going to continue to use my collection and that's it for this update. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Be sure to check out down below for all of my social media links as well as links to my other YouTube channel and some other fun stuff. They're all listed in the description box all the time. And for now, that's everything. If you like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.